guys, welcome back to the Pink Butterfly. How you doing? It's your girl, Lady Sylvia. To my new subscribers, before I start talking, I just want to tell you thank you, thank you, thank you. You have many other channels that you can stop by. You stop by the Pink Butterfly and you hit that subscribe button. So I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope I don't let you down. To the subscribers that's been rocking with me since the first video and since the last video. How y'all doing? Thank you so much. Um, so let's just get into it. I know y'all looking at the title going, what? Sylvie, what you mean you a gold digger? And I see this hair getting on my nerves flying in my face like this, but it's cut you. Okay, yeah, but I know y'all like, what, what, what are you talking about? You a gold digger? Yes, honey, yes. I am a proud gold digger. I taught my daughter to be a gold digger. I taught my son to be a gold digger. And I want y'all to be gold diggers too. Yes. I want you to be a gold digger. I'm a proud gold digger, honey. Let me stop playing with y'all. I found the cutest picture from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to put this up in my bedroom. And there it is. Is this not the cutest thing you have seen? And it says gold digger, but obviously it's a play on the phrase gold digger. And they want you to be a gold digger, as in get a goal. And that's that's my wish and it's my, my prayer for not only myself, my children, but for you is go after your goals, go after your dreams. No one is stopping you from achieving those things that you want to achieve. The only person standing in your way is you, okay? I had a talk this morning with a very dear friend of mine and I know he's watching, how you doing? And you know, we always, like we have dreams and goals and those things that we want to accomplish, but you get kind of lazy and you get complacent and you just kind of, you're like, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. But this morning, like when I was talking to my friend, he was like, you need to get on it. You need to, and it was a confirmation because God has been kind of Ooh, just like gnawing at me in my spirit, like you need to do this. You need to get this done. And there are some projects that God has given me wonderful ideas on that I've started, but I haven't finished. And if I don't finish, he's going to give those ideas and those projects to somebody else. And then I'm going to be sitting there mad, broke, busted, and disgusted because I didn't do what he told me to do. Point blank in the period. So I just want to encourage you, be a goal digger. Get a goal and go after it. You know, I always told my kids, like, I don't accept mediocrity. I don't accept just C's. I don't accept being average and just barely above the line. No. The only way you're going to succeed in life is if you supersede the expectations. And you have to have the expectations here. You know, you might not always hit it, I, I say it this way, keep aiming for the, for the moon. In case you fall and miss, you'll still be amongst the stars. Set your expectations here and work toward them. And if for whatever reason it's not meant for you to make it here, you, you still were better than you were when you were mediocre, if that makes any sense to you. Find a goal, get a vision, and go for it. Write down your goal. A lot of times we don't write things down. If we don't see it, then we won't be reminded or forced to go after it and go for it. Write your visions down. The book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 says, write the vision and make it plain so those that see it can run with it. You have to write your vision down. You have to make a plan. You have to make goals. You have to go after it. And don't don't do too much at one time. If your goal is, for example, let's just say your goal is to be a doctor, then ultimately your number one top goal is to be a physician. But your goal under that should be to graduate from residency. Your goal under that should be to graduate from your um, undergrad. Your goal under that should be to get through you know, sophomore year, senior year, junior year, you have little goals that lead up into your big overall goal. If you go forward straight away, reaching for this big, gigantic goal in the sky, 
you will become overwhelmed and you'll feel like you cannot achieve it. You can't get there. So have your big overall goal at the top. This is, these are the things that this is the thing I'm working toward, but have little goals underneath that, that help you achieve your ultimate goal. You know, if you want to be a makeup artist, you know, you start by learning how to beat your face for the gods, okay? And then you learn how to beat other people's faces for the gods. And then you learn to go up and up and up your chain. And eventually you want to be a celebrity makeup artist and you want to have your own makeup line and your own brushes or whatever it is. But you have to start somewhere first. Don't so much focus on the future the biggest goal possible, make little goals and work your way up. But you can't do anything if you don't have a goal to begin with. The second thing I want to say is it becomes very hard to not only reach your goals and constantly stay focused on your goals if you're not surrounded by like-minded, goal-oriented people. I'm going to use this just as an example. You can't have goals of being in a white house but you hang out with people in the crack house does that make sense like you have to be moving and shaking with people who are moving and shaking who are going toward goals they don't have to necessarily be going toward the same goals that you're going toward but you need to surround yourself with like-minded individuals who have a goal who are wanting to go someplace they want to accomplish something and everyone's goals are different you know you might have a goal to be a physician but somebody else might have a goal to be a hairstylist that doesn't make your goal any better than theirs and their goal is no less than yours everyone has a different interest and different goals but the main point is you have to surround yourself with people who have goals in mind and i think i'm at the point in my life where I'm kind of not only taking self inventory, but I'm looking around me and it's coming to my realization that some people are good for just a kiki. You know, they just kiki. But do they have real goals and are they trying to go somewhere? Is it some place that they're trying to get to or are they content? In an everyday nine to five mediocre, we're gonna go no higher mentality, and that might be fine for them. I'm not saying that anything is wrong with that whatsoever. Nothing is wrong with an everyday Monday through Friday nine to five. You know, do what you do. But for me, who have so many ideas and so many dreams and so many visions and so many goals, it becomes hard for me to be amongst people who are not reaching and striving and pulling and pushing for greater or greatness. It, it really becomes like, this is a strain on me. And they can still be your kiki, but you need those people around you in your closest inner circle that are going to push you and drive you and motivate you. That brings me to the third point that I want to bring up. If there are people around you that take issue with your goal, they're not pushing you, they're not motivating you, they're not even asking you what your goals are, they don't even know what your goals are, reevaluate those friendships. True, reevaluate those friendships. That means they don't care. And if they don't care about you, Chances are they don't care about your goals. They don't care about your visions. They may say they support you and all this other stuff, but do they really? Get a goal, get goal-oriented, goal-driven people. Surround yourself with people who have a like mind. So, so that's my two cents for the day. I hope you spend it wisely. Get a goal and go towards your goal. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Until I see you in the next video, peace.